now that we've got our hide completely built, it started raining, which is pretty typical if you're going to chase them. We've got about 500 caribou coming this way with some real big bulls, but we can't even turn the camera that way, otherwise the water's going to get all the lens. This year, Keith brought his bow, and I brought my ML2. I thought it was so good, I had to have one. So I brought it along, just in case Keith couldn't get an opportunity with the bow, he could grab my ML2. The weather was so inconsistent. We would be sitting there just looking into the wind, and a rain squall would come and just dump on us hard. Normally, the, the rain squalls are just light rain, and you might have to put your rain gear on for 15, 20 minutes. This was horrible. We were just getting hammered. I was shooting camera, and the wind was blowing, and it was raining hard. I was having a hard time keeping the lens clean. I was having a hard time holding steady. We had two or 300 caribou coming towards us. We saw this one bull. He was at the back of the herd in the beginning. And I told Keith, I said, this is it. This is the one we're going to wait for. We're going to let it, a couple hundred come by if we have to in this one little spot before we're going to try to get this bull. That bull was standing out there walking, actually moving the whole time at probably 300 yards by the time we got a really good beat on him. And that's stretching it for any muzzleloader. But the ML2 is not any muzzleloader. Nice shot. I got it. Let's just stay put. I am burning up. I mean, it is really raining. Nasty weather. I mean, I, that's the best bull I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to shoot it with my bow. Too bad. He's my bull. This is the spot we saw him go down, and sure enough, he went down. The good news is we found our caribou. The bad news is he's, he didn't go down here. He went down out in the water, out there, about 200 yards. And you can barely see an antler and the side of him sticking up. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he's in the water. But what we're going to do, we're going to go back to camp. We're going to get some help and probably go swimming. But one day we got up and there were there were caribou everywhere, absolutely running us over practically. And we had heard that uh, Keith had killed a bull that, that morning and uh, he was having a little bit of trouble getting to it. I understand that Keith Warren shot one that ended up in the water. I bet that was really hard to get to. And this is the part, Outdoor Adventures. After a lot of work, here's what he looks like. He's got a heck of a spread on him. I mean, that's a that's the widest caribou I've ever taken for sure. Yeah, with me, Adam, this is definitely the widest one you've taken. It's, it's absolutely amazing that the animals that are up here, and, and I want to stress, you know, that I've come hunting every year. This is my first big game hunt every year, and it's in August, but you can hunt these caribou all the way through. Well. <laughs>